What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba Marina and I'm starting my day out with several visual inspections. I had a friend of mine bring me some used cylinders that he had just purchased. He would sent them off for hydro and then brought them to me for the viz. Um, but I'm going to take his tanks here and I'll make a quick video about his tanks in particular just because it's a cool tank. First of all, it's an aluminum 100. I'm not a big fan of aluminum 100. I like to steal 100s. However, it's a cool tank because it's customized. It's got a lot of neat stickers on it. And what I mean by neat stickers, it's stickers from where he's been or the previous owner's been. And so I can see he's been to Grand Cayman, he's been to the Florida Keys, uh, the mine, mine, candy, whatever that is. So it's really cool. He's been all over Southeast Aruba. So he's been all over and that's really neat that he's uh, kind of customized the cylinder, but there's an issue with it. The issue is all these stickers have to come off during the visual inspection process. And though the current customer, who's a friend of mine, is not going to get upset for me taking them off, uh, some customers do. When they bring us their tanks for visual inspection, what, part of the 18-step protocol or process we go through requires us to do an external visual inspection. Or for me to do that properly, I have to take these stickers off so I can see underneath them. And I can promise you guys, in the last 30 years, I've seen a ton of damage underneath stickers. And usually it's where somebody's damaged their tank, they put a sticker on it to hide it. So for us to catch that, we have to take these stickers off. And I've had countless of times people have got very upset with me over the years. Um, and, and it's not a good thing for them to get upset. It's actually bad on their part. You know, we do these visual inspections for their safety and our safety as fill operators. And so I try to explain to everybody, when you bring me a cylinder and it's got a sticker on it, it's got to come off during the visual process. And I'm okay with you putting stickers on your tank. It's a good thing that you want to customize your cylinder. Just understand they do have to come off during that yearly inspection. Even these stickers right here. If this tank had a nitrox sticker on it and we do a viz, we take it off and we charge them to put another one on it. Now, stickers are not very expensive, just a couple of bucks, um, but they still have to come off, guys. So please don't get upset with me if I'm your visual inspector or if you take it to a visual inspector and he takes your sticker off. We're actually required to. Um, let's talk real quick about visual inspection stickers um, because I do have a pet peeve with them as well. Um, as far as where you put a visual inspection sticker, to me, it doesn't really matter. There's no real requirement. It just has to be visible. Some people, and it's very popular for these curved style stickers to be up top, and that's actually okay, as long as it doesn't block any of the numbers that are important to us, meaning the date it was made, the hydro, stuff like that, the serial number, whole nine yards. So as long as it doesn't block that, I'm perfectly okay with it going up there. Uh, I don't mind it going down here towards the bottom, which is typically where I put it but please don't put it on the bottom. I don't want to have to pick up your tank like this every time just to see the visual inspection sticker. Um, put it where it's visible. One reason that I put it towards the bottom down here is simply because uh, if, if you use a tank boot, I usually put it right up above where a tank boot is, but as you slide your BC on, your cam straps will not scratch it up as they would up here. Uh, so that's one reason I like it down there, but it's perfectly up, fine up here as well. Um, but I will state this, because this tank's a prime example. I've got a visual inspection, inspection sticker there. I've also got a visual inspection uh, sticker there, and there's another one on the other side. Um, make sure your visual inspector takes off the old stickers every time you get a visual. Because if you bring me a cylinder, and I see a visual inspection, I'm going to look at it and say, hey, your tank's out. I'm not going to worry about looking for another one, because it needs to be visible. And then if you say, well, there's another sticker on it, I'm going to look and say, well, no, it's out too. I'm not going to waste my time, guys, going around and looking at all those stickers. There needs to be one visual inspection sticker on it, and I need to be able to see it when I got the tank in my hands. So if it's up here, that's great. That's fine. If it's down here, that's great. That's fine. But take one of the other ones off. You don't need multiple inspection stickers. And we get people who get upset. Well, I want to know the history of this tank. Okay. You don't need stickers to do that. If you're using your cylinder, you're getting it inspected every year, and you bought the cylinder, obviously you know the history of it. Don't get upset because they're going to come off as well. But guys, that's my little rant this morning. I just want to talk about that. I've got to get these done for the customer. i got to get these stickers off, and I hate to do that to him but because they're really cool stickers. I really like this uh, Southeast Aruba sticker. That's pretty cool. It's got a female diver going through a dive flag. It's really neat. Um, but yeah, I wanted to make a video on stickers. It's okay to customize your tanks. Just understand once a year, 
Stickers got to come off anyway. So please don't get upset with your visual inspector. If I'm your visual inspector, please don't get upset with me. I'm just doing my job. But guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. Let me know down in the comment section below. I know a lot of tech divers, they don't like any stickers on here. They just want whatever their blend is, whatever their oxygen blend is. But uh, yeah, let me know down in the comment section below how you feel about tank stickers. Me personally, I, th I think they're cool. I like them. Uh, I just hate the fact that I've got to take them off. But yeah, let me know down in the comment section below what you think about the situation. Guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. If you like it, simply smash the like button for me and definitely share it. As always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.